we are looking at a segment area and also a segment perimeter. First of all, we need to know what is a segment. And a segment is a portion, a portion of a circle formed by a chord. Remember, I showed you a chord previously. A chord is a straight line from one end of a circle to another end, but not through the center. So when you have a chord, this part is known as our minor segment, the smaller part. And the bigger part, the whole of this space, is known as major, major segment. Now, how do we find area of a segment? Let's look at this part. From the center to the end of the chord, that is a radius. The same to this side, that's the radius. Meaning, there is an angle between the two radiuses. So if you take the whole of this portion till down, we create what we call a sector. Because from the center, this side is R, the other side is R, and in the middle, it is, it is the angle. So if I take the whole part till down, I get a sector. If I take the top part only till the, the chord, I form a triangle. I form a, a triangle. So, if I have the triangle, then it will be R and the angle in the middle. Now, I need to get this minor segment area. So in order to get the area of the minor segment, then I need to find the area of a sector, then take away the area of a triangle. And we know area of a sector is theta over 360, pi r square, area of a triangle is a half times r times r times sin of theta. Now, after getting this area and this area, I subtract the two. When I subtract the two, then I will get what we call the minor segment area. It's like when I cut the triangle from this part and I end up with this portion, which was meant to be down here. So this is how we find area of a minor segment. Now, if I need area of major segment, area of major segment. First, I will find the area of a full circle. Then I take away the area of minor segment and I will get the area of a major segment, as simple as that. So, area of a circle, which is pi square, minus the answer, the answer for for minor segment, then I get the area for major, major segment. So simply to find the area of a major segment, it depends with the answer of the minor segment. Then I take it away from the circle, I get the area of a major, major segment. But also we can find perimeter, perimeter of a minor segment, perimeter of a minor segment. So if you look at the minor segment here, this is an arc length. This is an arc length. And this is a chord. So this minor segment perimeter will be arc length plus the chord. 
arc length plus the chord. So I need to find arc length, then I add on the chord. So normally, the arc length, we know how to find it. That is theta over 360 to pi r plus the chord. Most of the time, the chord is not given. But how can we easily get it? By using cosine rule. When you use cosine rule, we will get the chord here. Since I have the rectangle, I mean, sorry, since I have the radius and the radius and the angle in the middle, then I can find the chord using cosine rule. And we know the cosine rule formula. That is a square plus b square minus 2 ab cos of the angle theta. Then I find the square root to get it, the, uh, the length of the chord. So chord plus arc length will give me the limiter. So of a minus it of a minor segment. So this is how we find um, the minor segment area. And this is how we find the major segment area by finding area of a circle minus uh, area of a minor segment. Then I get major segment. And how to find the perimeter of a minor segment. I will take the arc length I will plus with the chord. So if you don't know any, you find the arc length and you find the chord, as I showed you here, and you add. So this is how we find area and the perimeter of a segment. Thank you for watching.